time and messing up my sleep and stuff and making sure that I sleep at three or four o'clock in the morning. And then when I wake up, she's stomping and banging over my head really hard and stuff, dropping stuff over my head, dragging furniture over my head, dragging stuff over my head, Father God, and just doing all kind of electronic sounds against me and blasting it up in my ear and stuff, Father God, I pray that you will deal with this woman, Father God, and adjudicate her and her wickedness, that you will put a stop to her wickedness, Father God, and that you would do that for all the lambs that are suffering from bullies, hardcore, terrible bullies that come against them all the time, that's harassing them 24-7, Father God. And I live underneath this bully, Father God, that lives above me. And she's coming against me really hard and hard and hard. And I know this month is the month of Halloween that the witches have their field day. And she's a witch, I think, Father God. I believe that she's a witch, Father God. But she definitely is full of the spirit of witchcraft and Jezebel. I know that much, Father God. And the spirit of Leviathan and other demons, too. But Father God, I just thank you and I praise you, Father God, that you're stepping in. You're fighting for me. You're fighting against the demons. I've been praying all day, Father God, against the evil entities operating through this woman and the evil spirits in this neighborhood and city, Father God. And sometimes the more I pray, sometimes it gets worse because she decides to listen to her demons. So you're not going to violate nobody's will, Father God, if they want to listen to their demons. So Father God, and this woman likes to listen to her demons a lot. And so my prayers are still working, Father God. It's just that a matter of you're not violating nobody's will. You give everybody a free will, Father God, whether they want to listen to you or whether they want to listen to their demons or listen to the devil. Everybody has a free will, including myself. So, Father God, my will is being violated, Father God. My rights are being violated. I'm being abused by all kind of neighbors, and they hate stalking me like crazy and over spying on me and going over bored with their spine and their snitching and their watching and their surveilling father god their surveillance father god they're going too far with their schemes and games and this individual father god has tried to get me evicted three or four times since i've been here father god because this person never wanted me here father god this woman upstairs and other neighbors here never wanted me here from day one when i moved here two years ago father god and they've been trying to do everything to get rid of me with the noise traffic campaigns and with the evictions father god and i have no money to move father god i do not want to move here and the management here is very mean and nasty toward me because they're perps too and everybody in the city and neighborhood is very cruel to me and they have turned all the Christian TIs against me that are being persecuted in the same covert gain stocking program that I'm being persecuted in because this woman upstairs, she contact everybody that I contact in the covert gain stocking program that I reach out to in, in media, in social media. And she had turned every single one of these people against me to the point where they have no respect for me whatsoever. And it's hard for me to get any type of support or prayer from Christians because of this woman gossiping and lying to them. Because this woman upstairs is hacked up in my phone and she sees everything that I do in my phone. And she's always trying to stop me from watching my videos and interfere by making noises or stopping the play button. Putting the stop on the play button or turning off the phone and and making sure that I can't charge up my battery quick enough for long and that and just in fear and a lot of things technically on my phone and setting up these perps to be calling me on the phone and these perps to be sending me emails. She's setting up packages to be sitting um, at my door and all this kind of stuff, unwanted stuff, Father God, that this woman set up. She's doing a lot of the psyop and the coordinating things that happen to me. Father God, this woman is very dangerous and she's terrible. She's a terrible enemy, Father God, and she's totally Satanistic and diabolical and psychopathic, Father God. So I thank you for dealing with this woman, Father God. I'm doing a public video because, Father, this needs to be known how this woman is hurting me. I've been quiet about this as far as in public, Father God. 
And this is one part of my story that I'm sharing about myself, lambs out there, because I'm being persecuted in the Culver Gain Stocking Program since I've been a kid. I haven't always known about it until like four or five years ago, I found out that I was being gain stocked, you know, through some other medium, through some other person that I don't want to mention. There's some other lamb that's being persecuted in the same covert gang stocking program that I'm being persecuted from. So I just uh, want to just address to you lambs that I know what you're going through. I'm hurting like crazy. I'm being perplexed by this individual and by so many perps that come against me in my neighborhood and where I'm living in my apartment building and in the city and everywhere else. And I have no friends, no family, but nothing but enemies. But I know I have Jesus Christ. I have Jesus Christ. I have my Father in heaven and the Holy Spirit and the Word of God and the angels of God to protect me. And that's all I have. And Jesus is all that I need. But I know in the natural realm, I have nothing but enemies. And even though these perps are even playing up to me to try to force me to get in their cars by manipulating me and playing nice to get me in their cars to do their covert satanic rituals against me and the perverts to try to handle me and control me and trying to get me in a ride perp relationship because all the ones that approach me they're trying to befriend me for the wrong reasons to manipulate me for information to use against me to figure out what tactics to use against me they report to the hive so I don't give in to them anymore now that I know what's going on what the game is in this program and what the tactics are and what the tactics they use to manipulate TIs into relationships and to evil relationships to hurt them and to kill them to soft kill them to get close to you to soft kill them so I pray lambs that you will pray for my protection from these evil neighbors perp neighbors and these evil predator perps that be offering rides to me when I walk down the street you know they're coming after me even where I live in my apartment hiding in parking lots and then riding down the road asking me do you need any help do you need a ride and I don't even know these people and they get mad because I don't want to get I don't get in the car with them and they retaliate on me they punish me later for that in various satanic ritualistic ways so I just pray for you lambs to pray for my protection Because they are hard targeting me like crazy because it's a lot of things that I won't give in that they want me to do. And getting in the spying program that they wanted me to get in, get in the car with these satanic perps that's phony as a $3 bill. But they play all nice and disguise themselves as angels, angels of light when they're evil as ever. And I don't trust them. They're no good. And all my life from childhood. That they've been targeting me with strange people that's middle aged and older than me. But nothing but players and perps and predators. So I just ask you lambs to help me out and pray for me in this situation. Rarely do I ever ask. This is the first time I ever ask lambs to pray for me. And I'm asking only the lambs that are persecuted in the covert gain stocking program. In any given uh, program, whether it's an over gain stocking program or any type of slavery program that are truly persecuted, to pray in agreement with me because I'm praying every day. I'm always praying. I'm praying even when I'm not on the podcast. I'm praying. I'm praying day and night. I have to pray. I cannot live without prayer and faith and trusting in the Lord. I'm putting all my trust in the Lord, whatever ounce of faith that's in me. Because God is trustworthy. And I'm living around a line of a den of lines and around a bunch of beastie devils that's so evil and vile and devious and so ruthless and hateful toward me without a cause because of these satanic lies going around about me in this covert gain stocking program how they have so much slandered me so bad that people are so schizophrenic and so distrustful toward me I can't even stick my finger out my door without them coming outside peeping at me it's so extreme they're so extremely schizophrenic and paranoid I can't even walk on my patio me my patio and go in my closet without them coming all coming out of their apartments, staring and getting in their cars watching. 
and snitching is so pathetic and is so psychotic the way these evil neighbors act they act all like satanic furbies and come out like apartments like cockroaches and they stalking me from one foot to another one space to another they go on overboard with their stalking overboard with everything overboard with their lying and then where I live, the management is overcharging me rent every year, knowing that I have a very, very low income coming in once per month. And they overcharging me so I can't move. But they want, don't want me here, but they overcharging me so they can make money and profit off of me because I'm a commodity. Thanks to this covert gain stocking program that they're participating in to make money off of me, to torture and harass me and soft kill me and abuse and use me. Because this whole program is nothing but a money making program for these perps, filthy lucre, just like in the slavery days of my own race of people. Back in the ancient days of my ancestors. So, lambs, my heart go out to you and I'm praying for you. And I always will be praying for you because I care. And I ask that you will pray for me in this regards concerning this very terrible bully neighbor. This enemy. She's a hardcore strong enemy that's been against me from day one when I moved in this apartment. When day one when I moved in this apartment bill. All the perps that was lined up staring at me in their cars and tagging on me in their, with their cell phones and staring at me as I moved my stuff in my apartment two years ago. And they gave me very nasty, hostile looks, unwelcoming looks, and they have mistreated me from day one. And especially this neighbor that I'm talking about upstairs, she has been after me from day one with the hardcore noises. She started out more so with the electronic sounds for eight hours and did three hours of noise, uh, natural made noises and then traumatizing the kids that she used that use that she used to keep or whatever and making them scream and cry and fall out on the floor and calling them all kind of MFs and stuff that traumatized them and then she traumatized me with the furniture moving every day she would move furniture every day for eight months and plus play eight hours of electronic musical sounds boom 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 you know it's just like eight hours within the midnight hours to dawn for eight hours for eight months for my first time I moved here the first year and then she kind of eased down and then she started with the other natural made noises and now she's tripping with the stomping she's having a field day with the stomping over my head because she got mad when I prayed for God to stomp down on the devil and to stomp the devil in his head and smash his head into the ground and defeat the devil coming against me and I guess she thought that she was the deity when she's so stupid she didn't understand that I was talking about the deity the demon the devil Satan himself because Satan is her father so she got offended so she figures she starts stomping over my head and then stomping on my head to try to make me retarded too and try to make me lose my memory I know the evil agendas behind Satan Satan operating through this woman and this woman is soft killing me and she's doing everything to hurt me and not just with the weapons but with other measures and evil tactics so I thank you lambs for the ones that have the heart to pray for me that dare to believe me what I'm saying especially for all the lambs that are being persecuted by very strong terrible enemy bullies you understand what I'm saying and you know I'm not making this up so anyway because all you lambs out there that's being persecuted in the covert gain stocking program I know you know what it's like to be being with electronic weapons most of you are to be harassed with noise harassment of any type so anyway, I have gotten all types of noise harassments from horns and, and street theater and noise trafficking campaigns and stomps and bangs and screams and everything else and all kinds of stuff of noises that they can and over talking loud and laughing loud and every noise that they can come up with stereo sound car music and loud stereos in the apartment and even like on the 25th of May this person was like blasting her stereo sound like 
8, 13 hours that day. That day. And she did it again like recently um, in June, July.